Hi, my name is Eric Blondet. I'm Simplify's VP Platform and Technologies. And today we're actually going to use SAP Analytics Cloud to kind of do an analysis of uh, COVID-19 spread in the United States today. The idea here is to give you an idea of what's possible. And my next step once this is done is actually to go further into it and see um, could we may put it in relation with actual hospital capacity? Or in your case, maybe you do have a business case where you would need to know your retail stores or your plants. How are they, could they be affected considering the spread around them today and in the past few weeks and obviously in the next few weeks as well? So here, this is all coming from the John Hopkins University dashboard. Some of you may have seen it. They make it available for us to actually download all the information that's available th from their website. And then we're actually able to bring into SAP Analytics Cloud in which would be able to then join it with any other data you may have. So really don't hesitate to get back to me afterward if you would like to enhance this information with some information you have and it would actually bring some value where we're going to try to help you and figure out how we can actually assist you through SAP's uh, solutions to really get an in-depth understanding of what's happening in your market and around it. Okay, so what we have here, we have everything imported from the John Hopkins data files, uh, among other things, obviously US data, states, and within those states, we also have the county information that enables you to have a better understanding of what's happening there. For example, in our case, Simplify, we're based in Chicago. So let's go have a quick look, and I'm going to uh, put it full screen so that we can have a better vision on what's happening on the map here. So let's go where Chicago is. So we do see there is an outbreak uh, of COVID-19 in the area of confirmed cases. Keeping in mind confirmed is people who have been tested and confirmed with it. There are probably more people who are infected today. And I'm just going to select... Um, Let's go up to Milwaukee, go around, and let's include South Bend. That's pretty much it. So I'm going to analyze what is really happening in this area today. So now we have only this. This is all the information we have, and I'm going to bring it lower. So we have this on the map. And if we look here, we do see Illinois. Numbers went down if you had looked earlier from confirmed, sadly, deaths. The actual death rate over the confirmed cases, and these are confirmed cases for each segment of 10,000 people in the population. So this is really what I had selected. So I selected a few cities from Illinois, Wisconsin, Indiana, Michigan, and I could drill down into Illinois and look at Cook County, which is pretty much downtown Chicago, and see we have 5,000 there. And uh, right now, death rate is getting closer to 2%, but 10 out of 10,000 each 10,000 people are actually confirmed infected in Chicago today, in Cook County. And we can have, for the data I selected, we can see it going up as well in confirmed cases. And right now, SAP and Altix Cloud is kind of building a trend and saying, based on the current trend, how where does it think we're going to be in about 16 days? Because my data, right now, I have it up until April 1st. That's what's been published by John Hopkins. Obviously, as data comes in, I'll be able to increase it. And so we actually see the confirmed cases going up compared to the previous day quite a bit in our county. And also, something we're wondering, you may be wondering, for example, I was wondering it, is we have confirmed cases, death rate. Is there an actual relationship? And I built another view of this same data where I can actually go look at this information. And now we can actually see, and this seems to apply for all the United States and all the different, most of the states I've had. So the only difference is the relationship between death rate and confirmed cases varies a bit, mainly when some states don't test as much. So confirmed cases are lower in comparison, but the trend is the same in each one of them. So we have about 2%, sadly, in each cases. So... If this is something that could interest you and you, you see some value where we can actually help, don't hesitate to get back to us and uh, we'll see what, how with SAP Analytics Cloud and some even more advanced predictive statistics that are available in here, we can really help you to adapt and adjust to the current situation. Thank you.